Welcome back to TLT Talks. I'm sitting here with Melina Salter, real estate extraordinaire. Melina, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thank you, Eugene. Hi, guys. My name is Melina. A little something you might not know about me, or you might if you follow me on social media, <laughs> is that um, I really love Disney, Marvel, superhero, Harry Potter stuff. Who's your favorite? I cannot choose. They all hold a very special place in my heart. Okay. <laughs> I currently live in Murray Hill, um, so that's one of the areas I specialize in, as well as Chelsea, Upper East Side, just Manhattan in general. I've been in the business about three years now, and boy, has the market changed. <laughs> right, so everybody's talking about this market shift, how do you navigate this market, etc. So I thought that'd be a good thing uh, to dive in with you today. So. Huh? Since you started, you know, what has been, you've got fresh perspective on the market, right? Then the person that's been in the market for 25 years. What have you seen from when you first began to now? Well, when I first began, I mean, it was a broker's dream, right? There were bidding wars all over the place. Things were flying off the shelves. Days on market was little to nothing. Um, and now I would definitely say that prices have adjusted for sure. And we are seeing different times. It, it is not as easy um, as some people might have thought it was. Yeah, exactly. Like days, days on market are a little bit longer. Average days on market is a little bit longer. There are some corrections, right? So what are, what are you seeing and like what are you, what's your advice to the seller or the buyer out there? Like what do you recommend? Um, I definitely recommend making a move. If you're a seller and you need to sell within the next, you know, 12 to 24 months, like some sellers think there's going to be a major adjustment. Um, there's nothing indicating that there will be, right? So even if, you know, there's a minor adjustment, if you need to sell now, there's nothing that should really hold you back, right? Because even buyers, for example, think that prices are going to drop much more. And there's really nothing indicating that. And even if they do drop a bit, interest rates are going to go up. So if you are a seller and you can hold for 10 years, that's one thing. But if you need to sell, the next 12 to 24 months are not going to make a major difference yeah exactly look everyone's got a crystal no no everyone and no one has a crystal ball right, right? so right. exactly like if there, there, there could be further correction down there could be a correction up like no one knows exactly where things are gonna go but at the end of the day for the seller why take the risk right for the couple percentage worth for the buyer like you've got to worry about rates there's a good possibility the rates go back to five six seven percent who knows where they're gonna go absolutely and so while you're waiting for the perfect deal you find yourself priced out of the market Right. Right. So, so this is this is really so insightful. For me. Ultimately, what do you recommend for our folks out there? Um, I definitely recommend making a move in general. Um, so basically, for September, you know, sales volume has gotten down, but in October, everything went up. Right. So it just goes to show you that there is something happening in the market. Buyers are buying, sellers are selling. So it's it's really about not listening to the hype. Uh, social media, the news, all these things, right? They are there for your clicks. They are there to sell you papers. So just take a second, think about what's important to you, what's important to your family, what next move you need to make, and let that kind of gauge your decision. Not everything you hear everywhere else. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, the news. I mean, it's just, it's doing exactly what it's meant to do. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, we, when you look at the contract line, which I think is so important, September year over year was down, October was way up. Yeah. So that just shows like, look, your market is adjustment, buyers and sellers are closing the gap. You know, buyers are like, oh man, we need to make a move. And sellers are like, you know what? It's not the market I thought it was. And they're, they're finding that middle ground. And it could very well be that things just kind of for a while. So thank you so much. This has Thank been you. so insightful. Thanks guys and see you later. Bye.